Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Jim's Mix. And tonight we're going to give you a, a short annealing video on the EP Integrations 2.0. Uh, epintegrations.com and I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description. Also right now for I don't know how long he's going to run this special. It's $238 for the EP integrations. You saw in the unboxing video and everything that comes with it. It's $238 with free shipping in the lower 48. Uh, so that's a real deal on this uh, annealer. Now, what I'm going to do is watch his videos. I don't need to remake his videos. All I can tell you is I checked his glow method with some template, and this is the 700 degree Fahrenheit. His glow method really works well. Uh, what I've also found is you'll have to do a little adjustment between the different brands of brass. So if you're annealing, be sure to anneal all Remington cases, Hornaday cases, Lapua cases, Federal cases. They will all be a little bit different. So set your annealer up. Do one run of whichever brass it is. And I also find that if you wipe the mouth case, at least the projectile end of the case off before you start this, the annealing is a lot better because whatever dirt is on there wants to take away from that even heating so you want to be sure to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop in uh, what I've got here are some uh, some test brass you need to sacrifice four or five pieces so that you can get your annealer set up wants to flame about an inch and an eighth inch and a quarter something like that you want the end of that flame to be aimed here at the juncture of the shoulder and the neck. You don't want it down here. You don't want to change the annealing in this part of the case at all, especially especially from about uh, two-thirds of the way of the body of the case down. Uh, you, you're just needing to anneal the part that's been worked, which is the neck really, and the shoulder slightly. So. I've got it set up. We're doing 30 alt 6. Uh, and 18 seems to work good where I have the flame set. You need to do this each time you set it up. I make a note on how many, uh, how, this isn't how many seconds. It's a percentage of speed that it's going, depending on where you set your torch and everything else. And again, watch his videos. Be safe with this. Be careful and don't bump the torch because it isn't fastened down. Uh, so we're going to run some test cases. Uh, his glow method, by the way, works very well checking it with the Timplac. Uh, so, uh, and you know, a lot of people talk about, well, you don't have a feeder and you can't stick a lot of cases up there. Uh, I feel like that if I'm putting them in one at a time, I'm actually going to notice if there's a deformity or something that's maybe wrong with the brass and I don't want to, to anneal that piece of brass or, or it's junk or whatever it may be, it'll help me see that, feel that. It gives me more contact with it. Please be careful with this. Again, go to epintegrations.com, watch his videos. This is just a little short one uh, to kind of finish up the review on it. Uh, this thing works really good really easy really simple and like i told you simple suits me just fine the more complicated you make things the more errors that can be introduced into the process you just lay the case here and uh, like i said if you watch his videos uh, it just falls right into place uh, you want to get that flame tip right in that juncture and you want to just as it turns red this part of the brass you want it to fall out of the annealer. You've got plenty of time to pick up your brass, have a look at it, and then put it in the annealer. And uh, I'm going to let Nick go ahead and turn the light off for this part. I'm not sure how that's going to look on the video. Uh, and you'll get to watch this as it turns and goes red. We'll put the next one in. And again, this, this just works so easy, so simple. You'll watch that just turn red and drop out. It really works 
it's smooth, it's easy, it's simple. I just can't tell you how simple and easy this is. Uh, there was a time when, for me at least, annealing brass wasn't anything I worried about it. Uh, brass was inexpensive, uh, plenty of it easy to find. And I hope you're able to see that turning, just starting is turning red. Uh, <clears throat> And it just, you know, it's so simple and smooth and works so well. Uh, it just really works good. Uh, it's very consistent uh, with the process. It just goes right along. It'll just get that little bit of red tint uh, and it's ready to go. So there's the annealing. Uh, I'm going to turn the lights back on. We're going to turn this off uh, and turn off the machine. Uh, it's just a simple quick video. It isn't meant to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on that. I'm working on a series on reloading uh, from, from, from the point of this, of checking your brass, annealing your brass, cleaning your brass, and all of that stuff. Uh, I know all that stuff's been beat to death, but I'm very particular on the reloading process, and I think you should be as well. 100% review on this, 10 out of 10. Uh, it is a great annealer. I've got two friends of mine that anneal. They've got a different type of system. Uh, one, one of the guys has got that high expensive amp thing that's, uh, and, and it's just a little complicated. Uh, I'm sure it does a good job, but I find this, especially changing brass brands, uh, is really easy to come back, set up about, usually about two, uh, casings and you're ready to go. So that is the EP Integrations 2.0. This is the newest one uh, that, that, that he's got out right now. And again, it's $238. Uh, I hope that this helps you if you're thinking about annealing, getting into it uh, at an affordable price to, uh, to anneal stuff. A lot of stuff coming in the video land. I don't know how much between now and Christmas will get put in there but we'll see. I hope you have a great holiday season, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Remember, Christ is why we have Christmas. God bless you, and have a great, great holiday season.